Welcome back to my channel. This is Makeup Maria from Miami. If you're living your best life in your mid plus plus years, or you love skincare and makeup, this is the place for you. So this is my 11th video and I'm celebrating because I saw on TikTok that you need to celebrate your little achievements and that's what I'm doing. Also, if you're interested in learning from me uh, with my vast experience, let me know that, just leave me a question. Tell me what you're interested in on the video talking about what I've learned so far. Succinctly, what I can say is that YouTube is equal parts easy and difficult. There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot you have to learn. There's a lot you have to prep for. But at the same time, it's incredibly easy. The, program that you use to actually upload videos and to put a thumbnail in and to you know put in your description box it's all very simple so if you are interested in learning about how to do it let me know there are lots of videos out there but i mean i can add to it so just let me know leave me a comment today's video is about samples and i'll just give you an idea of the amount of samples that i have here it's insane and that's just because you know i like to get stuff for free and so every time i have the opportunity when i do a sephora order or any other order and i can get a sample i collect them if you're like me and you have a bunch of samples like this let me know if you collect them as i do and if you use them and if you purchase products because of the samples because anyway that's what this video is going to be i've chosen about 10 or so products that are here from that huge pile and there goes one on the floor and it's not a full face because what i've realized is that most of the stuff that i get is skincare and so i mean it doesn't make any sense to try on a bunch of skincare i don't get a lot of makeup samples i don't know if that's because that's what i choose or if that's what the companies send you in any case what i'll do is i'll try on skincare some makeup products and what i've done is i've chosen luxury and and recent releases new products because that's what i'm interested in so hopefully you're interested in that too so let's do it some of the brands that i have today are ysl retro they givenchy guerlain dr sturm charlotte tilbury becca dior no makeup on and i have textured skin uh i get i have some breakouts and some scars from previous breakouts I started with my Tatcha Essence. I rec recommend this. It's a wonderful product. This is not a sample, obviously, but I like to wear this underneath my makeup, underneath my moisturizer and sunscreen because I feel that it allows the ingredients to seep in better. When it goes really well with my Tatcha moisturizer, which is one of my current favorites. Okay, so I'm starting off with the Retrove, which is a very fancy, fancy brand that, of course, uh, Michelle Wang introduced me to. This is the Dynamic Nourishing Face Cream with my glasses on because I can't see without it, so. Mm. We'll just let that sit for a minute and then go in with sunscreen sunscreen I have the Dermalogica physical invisible physical defense which is a new product I like Dermalogica products but they're pretty much hit and miss you know I think they're a very good brand I mean it's not bad at first, I thought it wasn't going to blend in and it was going to leave a white cast, but it actually doesn't, which it was surprising because it's thick too. It look, it feels like a thick white casty sunscreen, but it's not, which is nice. I put everything on my decollete. So if I have a sunscreen, I put it here too. And then I have another body sunscreen that I use in the rest of my body. So no smell whatsoever. And maybe a teeny, teeny bit of a cast because I see my skin a little glowy. Um, but it's a nice glow. Okay. First impression. I'm a fan. Not bad. I think the sunscreens are getting better and better and better. 
So just keep an eye out. Obviously, you know, do your research, but there's some really good sunscreens out there. So no excuse, wear sunscreen. The next product is Dr. Barbara Sturm Molecular Cosmetics Glow Drop. Since I don't have a highlighter, this is pretty much what I'm gonna use as a highlighter. And I tried another Dr. Barbara Sturm sample that I'm not using today, and it was really nice. And so I was like, oh, I'm very excited. I should try this. And so we're gonna put some glow drops on and maybe only on the cheeks we'll see so it's a it is not as glowy as i thought it was going to be so i'm going to put it on all over the place This is very nice, but it's a little misleading. You think glow drops, it's going to be something that's gonna, you know, give you extra shiny glow, maybe a little oil type product. And it really isn't, it's a nice lotion. It's very similar to my Tatcha moisturizer, which is just a moisturizer that gives you a little bit of a glow, but even not that much of a glow. My, my Tatcha moisturizer gives me more of a glow than this. I mean, there's a slight scent, which is nice, and they're her products. Barbara's <laughs> products are, are, are very nice, but I'm not sure. I have mixed feelings about this, so. This foundation, I've got the Givenchy Paint Couture Eyewear. I don't know why they call it eyewear. It's longwear foundation. And the Dior Forever. I'm gonna try these two. I'm gonna do one on each side. So I've got a fresh and clean beauty blender, which if you're like me and you have uh, large pores and texture in your skin, I highly recommend the Beauty Blender. And I think if you have a lot of wrinkles too, because this is the Givenchy. I'm going to put it on this side. Because having a brush and, and trying to buff your skin when you have texture is a no-no. Definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so that's nice. I like it. I'm gonna do the Dior. Matte, I'm using the matte only because it's a, a better color for me than the glowy version. And they're a lot cheaper when it comes to the amount of products. So let's see if I can squeeze some out here. Ooh, definitely smells a little like alcohol. on nicely though I think it's a little darker I think the color is better but um, I think they're both nice foundations well you know it's funny I was more interested in the Dior foundation but now that I tried it I think that the Givenchy is better and it's not out there as much so there you go that's why these little samples are very valuable the next product is a YSL all Hours Concealer, here it is. Put, just go and kind of conceal a little bit of the areas that need a little help. That spot is covered. Okay, that's cool, I like it. So that's the trick, you know, you wear a light, you do tons of moisturizing, you wear a light base, these aren't, these are semi-light, and then you add a nice concealer. I like it, good coverage, anyway. So the next product is the Makeup Forever Reboot. I'm gonna use a darker color, this color right here, Y315 as a contour so we can try it out mm -hmm. 
So the texture is really nice. I used to be a huge fan of Makeup Forever. I wore it for the foundation for years, so I don't, I can't really tell the difference between this one and the one that was very popular for many years. It's pigmented but thin, which is I think why people love it a lot. Next product is the Chantecaille Skin Plus Eye and Face Stick. And I figured I, since it's supposed to be for your eye, maybe I'll try to put it a little bit under my eye, although I don't typically do too much concealer under my eye just because I think it will definitely accentuate lines. So, and I don't have dark circles under my eye either, so. That oh wow, it's very, very, like, it's a stick, so it's very creamy, I guess you could say. It's elegant, you know, all their products are so elegant. Shantakai, I mean, they just really can do no wrong. I think that they are very good at creating products for people who are older because they're very soft. They're almost too soft, but this isn't, which is nice. I'm surprised. This is actually not bad. And that brightened the heck out of it. And it's not looking dry. I'm sure it's very expensive, <laughs> but darn, I like it. Ugh, that's not good. So the next product is Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Everybody loves this. Know that it's going to be a little drying for me just because that's what I've heard a lot of people say. I'm gonna dip my wet beauty blender in this and see, does it pick it up? The true test of any powder is it will it can it set your eyes that's nice it's very nice I'm surprised I guess it's possible let me just use my finger I think it's nice I mean I love my Chantecaille powder so I don't think I'm gonna rush out and buy this. But it's nice to know that, you know, the raves, there's a reason, you know? The reason that everyone raves about the Charlotte Tilbury powder because it's quite nice. Yeah, it is. Product is Guerlain, it's Aqua Allegoria, it's a perfume. And I am super, super picky when it comes to perfumes, but this looked nice. Even though I don't like flowery things, I do have, like there, I have the Gooch Lowry perfume and I'll, I'll link it in the, in the description box down. And I didn't think I was gonna like that and I love it. I got a sample. That, that's a sample that I purchased full size because I loved it so much. So I figured let's give, let's give Guerlain a, a shot. Oops probably too much very soft sweet it has a little I don't know how to describe fragrances I think it's a little citrusy which I like I guess that's where the pear comes in I would wear this okay so I went off camera I added a little bit of blush and a little bit of bronzer powder bronzer I added some liquid lipstick dose of colors in Sp spill the deets which is quite nice. And I used a, this is the only by Terry product that I have, but it's a lip liner, it's in a nude color. It's also quite nice. If just as a wrap up, I think that the biggest surprise for me was toss up between the Givenchy and the Chantecaille face stick or eye stick. I'll leave a comment below to see if it really is long wear, but these are the two that surprised me the most. Actually, and I also really like the YSL All Hours Concealer, which is, is shouldn't be surprising. I do use their foundation, but it's it's quite nice as well because that really, it covered, still covered my, my, and I think that those were the surprises. I mean, I think Charlotte Tilbury was also very good, but it really shouldn't be a surprise. I think the surprise for me was that it's not as matte as I thought it would be, so I like it.
My favorite was the Dermal Dermalogica sunscreen. That was probably one of the biggest favorites. It went on very nicely and it played well with the other foundations, which is surprising. These are my favorites of the samples that I tried on today. One product that I may purchase is the Shantikai, just because it was probably the biggest surprise for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and wear sunscreen. Bye.